Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Stacy. as you already know, or if you're new, welcome, welcome. Don't be shy, go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post videos like this. Here on this channel, we do fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and motivation videos. So if that's your thing, would love for you to stick around. And of course, Happy New Year. Oh my God, oh my God. I feel so happy, I feel refreshed, I feel renewed. And I honestly, I want us to take a minute to thank God. Father, we thank you for sparing our life through those two very strange years that just passed. You know, if you're under the sound of my voice, you are blessed, you are favored. It doesn't matter what you're going through right now. I want you to take that out of your brain and give God thanks because, you know, any day above ground, as, you know, old folks would say, any day above ground is a good day. As long as you're living, things can get better. So I definitely want you to go ahead and focus on that. And that should be, you know, you lead with that for 2022 and everything will be just fine. So as you can see by the title of this video today, I will be doing how to start your YouTube channel. You know, if it's been on your mind, if it's something that you can't think, you can't stop thinking about, you know, it's something that you feel like you can contribute to. If you feel like it's something that you want to do as a hobby, if you feel like, there's things that you have within you that God has planted in you that you want to share with the world, but you don't know how to start. This is the video for you. Um, and I implore you to stick around and get a pen and a paper, something to jot down some notes because there's going to be some really valuable stuff that I'll be dropping today. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the video. So you are going to see me looking down because I do have my phone here um, and I have notes. I had to prepare for this because I honestly wanted to give you guys um, all the information that you need for this because this is serious. This is 2022. You know, it's a right, it's it's a perfect time to set a resolution. And if starting a YouTube channel is on your resolution list this year, your girls got you. So the first thing you need to do is ask yourself some questions, right? Um, because yeah, you're starting a YouTube channel, but as you guys know, yeah, this could actually potentially turn into um, like a, a, a job eventually, you know what I mean? If you're really passionate about it and you put your work in, it can turn into a side hustle and potentially earn you money. So, you know, it, this is not just something you start. Obviously, you're starting it, but it has a lot of potential to grow. So you want to be intentional when starting your YouTube channel. So two questions um, you need to ask yourself is, you know, why do I want to start a YouTube channel? Why? Ask yourself that question and be honest with yourself. This is you, you talking to you. Why do I really want to start a YouTube channel? Is it because you see everyone's doing it? Is it because you're passionate about it? Is it because you have something that you you feel like the world can benefit from? People can learn from you. Is it because you know you're looking for a side hustle? Maybe is it because like whatever your reason is, just make sure you be honest and true to yourself and answer that question honestly as honestly as possible. Um, because everything else is gonna just make sense to you. Okay. The second question you want to ask yourself is what kind of content would I uh, want to create? Like, what did you want to do? Like, for example, my channel is about fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and motivation because I like fashion. I like beauty um, and I like to motivate people. Things that I like, things that I can relate to is what my channel is all about. So it's the same for you. Is it going to be, um, you know, a, a beauty channel? You know, is it going to be um, a, a channel about kids? Is it going to be a channel about reviewing stuff? Like what, what, um, what content would you want to post on your channel? And this is going to help you because then you would know, obviously, what, what you're going to create. What is your videos content is going to be consist of? You know what I mean? So that is a very important question to ask yourself when starting. You know, why do you want to start? And what type of content would you create? Because it'll be easier for you and you can eliminate everything else. So for example, if you have a beauty channel, you know you're going to do beauty related contents. Um, if you have a channel about pets, you know you're not going to do like makeup videos because it's about pets. It's just going to simplify things for you. Okay. The next thing you want to say to yourself. Now, this is something that you're saying to yourself. And this is basically going to tie into, you know, your, you're, you're going to basically hold yourself accountable to doing this because in anything that you do, I believe in being dedicated and committed because if you're not, then nothing's going to happen. You know what I mean? You're going to start it and then you're going to stop. So you kind of have to make that personal commitment. Um, and that is, you know, how, how many times per week or per month, 
would you be dedicating to recording or uploading video? The thing about YouTube is the more you upload, the more the algorithm loves you. The more you upload, the more it will put you in front of people. So for example, I have a nine to five um, and I have a business and I have my YouTube. So for me, I think about once per week, is um what i can do that i can manage um definitely don't try to burn yourself out again if you have your other commitments just commit to if it's once a week if it's twice a week if it's once every two weeks just be consistent because your subscribers will be looking um for content from you definitely well, the next thing i'm going to be talking about is things that you actually need so after you've asked yourself those questions you established you you answered the questions you know what you want to do now it's time to put everything in motion, okay? And I hope you're taking notes because this is very important. Now, this is my step that I took. This is my journey. I know you may be, some people may be looking at the video and they say, no, that's not how you do that. That's this, that's that. But this is my journey. Um, I'm working on what works for me and I'm sharing it with you because I feel like it's very simplified. A lot of times when we start these things, we um, wanna go all in, but it's a process. It's a process and each day you'll learn something different and then you'll improve things. And that's how I learned. Um, I do have other commitments in my life. I do have a nine to five, I have a child, I have a business. Um, so this is what works for me. You know, obviously everything you may not go with from what I am saying, you may not work with everything that I'm saying, but what is for you, you take it out and then you keep it moving, okay? So these are the things that I used when I first started. So first things first, you need a Gmail account because that's how you're gonna have access to upload your video on YouTube. I believe um, Google owns YouTube um, and all of that. So if you have a, G a Hotmail, I don't think that can work. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but you need a Gmail because that's gonna open up for YouTube Premium. Um, I, like I said, you can upload your video straight from there and plus you'll get a Gmail account for your emails, okay? The second thing that you need is some sort of recording device. Now. When I first started, I started with my phone. Currently, I am I am recording with a phone. This is my cell phone, but I also, I got another phone. I just literally had it. I didn't go out and, and purchase a new phone. I just used that what I have. I started first with my own phone, but I find that the camera wasn't as bright. Um, it wasn't giving me the reflection and um, that I need when I look in a camera to record for you. Um, but yes, you don't need to go ahead and buy a camera. Now, if you have a camera, you can use that. If you know how to use it, great. I do have a camera as well, but to be honest with you, I'm not a techie techie person. I do not know how to use my camera as yet. But as I said, it's a process. So for now, I am using my cell phone to record my videos and all of the videos on my channel has been uploaded with, have been recorded, sorry, with a cell phone. You don't need to go out and purchase a camera initially because again you're just starting out you don't even know if you're gonna like youtube you don't know if you're gonna continue on it so just start with your phone literally just start with your phone like these are my phone is about eight hundred dollars these are actual cameras and the cameras are, are really good on these phones you just need to know how to set it up make sure you clean your lens get a nice clean piece of cloth clean your lens um and press record now i want to advise you with that now when you're recording with your phone it can be a little bit tricky um, and this happened to me initially when I first started. I would record on my phone, but I didn't set the setting properly. So whenever you're recording on your phone, you want to make sure that your camera's ratio is set at 16.9. 69 is where you is what the ratio that you want to set so that it's um I think it's horizontal. This is vertical, right? So you want to set it so that it's 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 um, horizontal, okay? And that's gonna prevent those little boxes that you see when you up. So if you and I and I purposely left my videos from beginning when I first started to now, just because I want to see the the growth, the journey. And if you go back and look at my other videos, you will see what I'm talking about. When you record vertically, it you you get these really annoying, hideous white boxes around your video you don't want that you want to do ratio 16 9 when recording and you want to set your phone um horizontally to record okay so you can use your phone or your camera okay 
The next thing you need to do is find a nice clean area in your house that's gonna be your recording area. As you can see, I chose this little wall here. I have my little picture frame and stuff, but there's not much going on in my background. Just some picture frame, nothing else, me in the center. That's all. You need something that's clean, something that's not gonna distract your audience. You don't want that. You want them to focus on you. So find a space in your house that is clean and nice and crisp um, where you can record and let that be your, your forever recording area in your house. Now, obviously, you can switch. You can switch around, switch it around, but just make sure whatever position in your house you're going to record, it's the same thing. The rule applied. Let it be clean, nice, decluttered, nothing to distract your, your audience. So the next thing you need, now this is completely optional. Sometimes I don't record with this. You need a mic. Um, I, like I said, it's optional. You do not need it, but it's going to help for the sound of your, um, your, your video so that your sound is more crisp and clean and loud, um, <clears throat> and clear, but you don't need it. Okay. But you can grab one. So I have this one here just to show you, I have this one here and I have another one that is a little bit smaller than this. And all you do is pin it on your clothes attach it to your phone so that your voice um, would sound clear and, and clean and crisp, okay? That's completely optional, you don't have to use it. You can just start off with your phone, um, just make sure that your voice is, you know, you know, is clear and people can hear what you're saying, okay? The next thing you're gonna need is some sort of lighting and this is very, very, very important. If you don't get a mic, girl, invest, girl, guy, whoever is watching, please invest in some proper quality lighting. You can get a ring light, um, and you also need a tripod, which is the next thing I was gonna say. Some ring light, they come with that little holder in the center where it can hold your phone. So it acts as a tripod and the ring light. Definitely go ahead and invest in some, some quality lighting because that's how your, fo your, you know, your face is gonna pop. You're gonna be clear. It's gonna just look so much better. It's gonna look bright. It's gonna look clean. Um, and yeah, you definitely need that. For my, I started off with a very small ring light. It did the trick at the time, but I upgraded since then. The one that I have right now, um, I think it goes up eight feet. Um, and I think I got it for about $150. It came with the different attachment in the middle. So I can like, you know, attach a camera or I can attach my phone. Um, and it's perfect. Like, this is perfect. The next thing that you can use for lighting, if you know, you're saying, Stacy, you know what? I can't afford a ring light right now. You can literally use natural daylight. There's nothing better than natural daylight. The only thing with that is that you won't be able to record at nighttime. If you want to record at nighttime, you kind of have to, you know, watch and look to see when the sun is at its brightest and then you just put your your tripod and your recording device at the window and then you record your video that can work too but um it doesn't give you that much flexibility if you want to record at nighttime that's the only thing the next two things that you would need for um like just equipment and stuff like that is you're gonna need like a usb cord and if you have a laptop that will be great because the thing is with um when i record is you know, I record on my phone and I very well can upload my video from my phone straight to YouTube and that would be it. The only thing I find with that, and now again, you can correct me if I'm wrong, I haven't discovered this yet. Whenever I do that, I'm not able to select a thumbnail. So a thumbnail is very important. Yes, you can record your video on your phone and you can upload it straight to YouTube, but I feel like um, the option to upload and customize your thumbnail is not there. So I prefer not to have that. What I do is I record on my, my cell phone and then, when it's saved I transfer it to my laptop using the USB cord um, and then from there I can create my my thumbnail and then I can upload just go on your Gmail account then you can upload your video and upload your thumbnail and you can put your tags and everything like that so again you can go ahead and upload on your phone but um, you know getting the USB and the laptop just gives you more option to make your video so much better and just to make the experience so much better for your um, your viewers okay Okay, so now I'm going to be moving on to editing. So after you record your video, girl, guy, yes, best friend, you uploaded, you, you record your video, you took the first step, now you have it, it's saved in your phone, you're going to need to do a few things before you hit upload. Before you release it to the world and you grace them with your beauty, you're going to need to do a few things, okay? Um, you're going to need to edit. And so for me, when I first started out, this was a challenge for me. Like I would stay up at night. I, I was so worried because the thing is with me, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist and I like to see things in place. I like to see things neat and well done properly. That's just me. Um, it's the Virgo in me. 
we're perfectionists um but yeah this would stress me out so much but honestly like i said start at your own pace you're gonna learn as you go i promise you if if, if i can do it coming from knowing nothing about editing or anything even now like i still don't know a lot of the things that i think i should know but again each day is a learning it's a process and it's an exciting one so for me i am very minimal when it comes to editing my videos so what now i'm gonna give you a list of things that you can use and i'm gonna tell you the ones that i do use okay so you're gonna need um an editing software software editing software okay you can use Final Cut Pro, I heard um, you can use Final Cut Pro, which is one of the more expensive editing software. It has everything on there. So if you can afford it, that's great. I think it's about a little bit under $400. Um, but again, it has everything on there. Um, I've seen videos that was edited with um, Final Cut Pro and it looks really nice. Uh, but I feel like I'm still earlier on in, in my journey, my YouTube journey. I don't want to commit to purchasing that Final Cut Pro right now so i go for some other uh, cheaper options and more simpler ones to use but i'm sure i'll definitely get there as my channel grow so final cut pro i'm gonna leave everything down in the description box as well so don't worry if you're not taking notes you can just go ahead and, and get the information there the second thing that you can use which is what i use and it's InShot. That's also an ed editing uh, software. It's an app. I have it on my phone and I just edit straight from my phone and transfer it to my computer. It's called InShot. So I think I pay about a little bit under $5 a month for this. And the thing I love about InShot, it's so user friendly. If you don't know anything about editing, absolutely nothing about editing, you're going to love InShot because they've simplified it. Like even a baby can use it. I mean, the baby can't use it, but like, you know what I mean, right? It's, it's just that easy to use. Um, it's very self-explanatory. Um, but yeah, in shot. Okay. And I'm going to try to see if I can, um, bring up the app here on somewhere here or here on the, um, on my, um, video so you can see what the app looks like. Okay. The next thing that you can use is iMovie. But as I said, my favorite and preference of them all as of now is the InShot because I find it easy to use. Um, yeah, I'm not a video editor. I just do it for my own use and it works for me. Okay. The next thing you're going to need is um, something to create your thumbnail, your beautiful picture to welcome your audience. You know, that's the one where you, where you, that you, you, you click on YouTube and something draw your eye. It's the thumbnail. It's the power of the thumbnail. So you definitely want to get something to make some really killer thumbnails because that's what's going to drive people to your channel drive people to click your video um, and it's just going to make your video look so much nicer it's so much fun to create um thumbnail so i use canva and i think um i don't know of any other um thumbnail maker or any other apps that you can use to make um thumbnail i've been using canva from when i first started and i'm use it um i'm using it Till now they have a lot of templates they have templates for like birthday cards valentine's cards you can use it to make flyers you can use it to use your to make your thumbnail so it's a really good um app and i think i pay like um don't quote me i'm gonna put the exact price in the description box but i think it's four dollars a month um to have the membership so that you can go in and you can use um canva to create your bomb thumbnails the next thing you're going to need, and this is optional, but it's good to have, it's something to cut out pictures. So as you can see, like if I do this, you can take a picture of me. But if you want to cut out all these things around me, like the picture frame and you just want to have me, um, you can use this app called um, Bazart for cutting out pictures. Um, and this is good if you're going to make like your YouTube intro and stuff like that. You can cut out little arts um, to make your thumbnail and stuff like that. That's also really good. And I'm going to put place the, the app somewhere on my screen here um, so you can see what it looks like. And then after you've gotten all of this, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to make your big release to the world to upload your video. And you just press upload. Now, uploading, you're going to need some proper Wi-Fi in your house. <laughs> um, I think we all have some sort of Wi-Fi in our house. If you don't have Wi-Fi, invite me a yard. But um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we have some Wi-Fi. Now, it takes, depending on the size of your, your video, it, it may take an hour, sometimes two, sometimes a few minutes to upload. But the longer your video, obviously the longer it's gonna take for you to upload. Um, but yeah, you need some decent Wi-Fi. What I find work for me when I'm uploading my video is um, in my house, I, I take off, I disconnect the Wi-Fi from my laptop, from my phone, um, sometimes from my son's 
game i take it off because what that does is it kind of speed up your connection so that your video can upload um much much faster um and really that's it after you upload your video you're just starting so be sure to share your link for your youtube channel um on your social media so if you have facebook share it on there um if you have instagram share it on there whatsapp share it on there like you kind of have to help yourself out in the beginning until you become big where you don't even need to share it um but even then i will still share it um because that shows that you're passionate you know what i mean um but yeah that brings us to the end of the video and honestly guys i know that you can do it get it started it's 2022 it's a brand new year it's a perfect reason to like start something brand new and fresh even if you're nervous just do it just do it they say the best way to face your fears is to face it okay and you'll get over it uh, as soon as you try you'll see that it's not that bad after all um i definitely i'm excited to see a lot of you guys starting your youtube journey because honestly you'll be surprised what the lord has placed inside you to share with the world and you being fearful is just you listening to the devil and you do not need to listen to the devil because greatness is within you so if you like this video feel free to um, stick around again subscribe turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified every time i upload videos um and thank you so much for stopping by and i will see you in my next video bye guys